Exposition by Charles Hedden Spurgeon, 2 Chronicles 33, 1 19. Verses 1, 2. Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem, but did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Yet who could have had a better father than Manasseh had? He was given to Hezekiah during those fifteen years which God graciously added to that good king's life. Manasseh was, therefore, doubtless carefully trained and looked upon as being one who would maintain God's worship and the honor of his father's name. But grace does not run in the blood, and the best of parents may have the worst of children. Thus Manasseh, though he was the son of Hezekiah, did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. 2. Like unto the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel it often happens that when the sons of good men become bad, they are among the worst of men. They who pervert a good example generally run headlong to destruction. 3. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah, his father, had broken down, and he reared up altars for Balaam, and made groves and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. One form of idolatry was not enough for him, he must have all forms of it, even rearing altars to Baal and making the stars also to be his gods. 4. Also he built altars in the house of the Lord, whereof the Lord had said, In Jerusalem shall my name be forever. Manasseh was worse than an ordinary idolater, for he polluted the very place which was dedicated to the service of the only living and true God. 5. 6. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Perhaps he gave some of them actually to be burned in honor of his false gods. But if not, some of his children were made to pass through the fire and were thus dedicated to the idol deities. 6. Also he observed times, and used enchantments, and used witchcraft, and dealt with a familiar spirit, and with wizards, he worked much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. You cannot imagine, I think, a worse character than this man as he was. He seems to have raked the foulest kennels of superstition to find all manner of abominations. Like false-hearted Saul, he had dealings with a familiar spirit. He had entered into a covenant with Satan himself, and made a league with hell, and yet, marvel of grace, this very man as he was saved and is now singing the new song before the throne of God in glory. 7 9. And he set a carved image, the idol which he had made, in the house of God, of which God had said to David and to Solomon, his son, in this house, and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Israel, will I put my name forever neither will I any more remove the foot of Israel from out of the land which I have appointed for your fathers, so that they will take heed to do all that I have commanded them, according to the whole law and the statutes and the ordinances by the hand of Moses. So Manasseh made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to err, and to do worse than the heathen, whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel you see dear friends, that he was not only a monster in iniquity, himself, but he led a whole nation astray. Some people who, under the gracious rule of his father, Hezekiah, had kept the Passover in so joyous a manner, now, under this false son of so good a father, turned aside. 10. And the Lord spoke to Manasseh and to his people, but they would not hearken. This was all that was necessary to fill up the measure of his guilt. 
He and his people were warned of God, but they would not listen. 11. Therefore, since words were not sufficient, and God intended to save him, he came to blows. Therefore, 11. The Lord brought upon them the captains of the host of the king of Assyria, which took Manasseh among the thorns, and bound him with fetters, and carried him to Babylon. They very likely chastened him with thorns, for the kings of Babylon were very cruel. And it may be that when his back was lacerated by thorny scourges, he was put in prison with heavy fetters upon him. 12, 13. And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his God, and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers, and prayed unto him, and he was entreated of him, and heard his supplication, and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord, he was God. There surely can be no person in this assembly who can say that he has sinned worse than Manasseh did. He seems to have gone as far as any human being could go and yet, you see, when he humbled himself before the Lord and lifted up his heart in supplication, God forgave his sin, and restored him to his former position in Jerusalem. 14. Now after this he built a wall outside the city of David, on the west side of Jihon in the valley, even to the entering in at the fish gate, and compassed about offal, and raised it up a very great height, and put captains of war in all the fenced cities of Judah. This is not of very much importance, but what else did he do? 16. And he took away the strange gods. When divine grace comes into any man's heart, there is sure to be a change in his actions. Manasseh took away the strange gods. 16. And the idol out of the house of the Lord, and all the altars that he had built in the mount of the house of the Lord, and in Jerusalem, and cast them out of the city. Sins which were before so pleasing to him, are now abominations in his sight, and he flings them over the city wall like unclean things. In the very valley of the son of Hinnom where he had dedicated his sons to idols, he now consumes his idol gods as foul and offensive things, to be cast away with all the refuse of the city. 16. And he repaired the altar of the Lord and sacrificed thereon peace offerings and thank offerings, and commanded Judah to serve the Lord God of Israel it was not possible for him to undo all the evil which he had worked, as he soon found out. 17. Nevertheless the people did sacrifice still in the high places, yet unto the Lord their God only. The work of reformation is slow, you can lead men to sin as rapidly as you like, that is downhill work, but to get them to toil with you uphill toward the right is not so easy. 18. 19. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and his prayer unto his God and the words of the seers that spoke to him in the name of the Lord God of Israel, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel his prayer also, and how God was entreated of him, and all his sins, and his trespass, and the places wherein he built high places, and set up groves and engraved images before he was humbled, behold, they are written among the sayings of the seers. So we must remember that all the deeds that we have done, both good and evil, are written in God's book of remembrance.